when she was growing up, she yeah. took an interest in the military life. And she became yeah. somebody who really spent time honing her military skills mm -hmm. and became a leader of the cavalry. Can you exactly. imagine? Became leader. A leader of the Liter yeah. cavalry. Yeah. Right? And she was yeah. known as a badass fighter on horseback. Welcome to The Unique Show, where we talk about all things Unique Studios, African geekdom, and the business of creators. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to The Unique Show. My name is Roy Okupe. I am the CEO and lead writer of Unique Studios, co-host. And this is to the ugly... No, I'm kidding. Uh, this is to <laughs> the, all the beautiful people as well. Jake Baje here from the Niger Nerds, uber fan of all things African history, especially when they're used to tell great stories today. And yep. we'll be doing that, getting into some of that right now with Roy. Um, this is African history and mythology meets fantasy. Yep, yep. This is our quick fire segment where we just talk very quickly about something from history that inspired one of our um, books. And today we're going to be talking about Malaika um, and how, you know, it's uh, not just Malaika as a person, but the, the word of Azaz is actually inspired by the real Queen Amina of Zazel. Now, quickly before no, I get in, no similarities there. Exactly. <laughs> and yeah, I was about to say it's like if you spell Zazel backwards and take out the U, it's literally a Zaz. <laughs> um, so I wasn't trying to be to be subtle there, but yeah, um, this is something that you know personally I'm very very proud about, um, uh, proud of, but because like for me it's like I've said this many times, what I want to do with entertainment whether it's in animation or comic books is really really integrate african history culture and mythology in a way that's not just entertaining but also you know educating so one mm -hmm. thing from the very start of of you know creating malaika i knew that i wanted to do this medieval you know you know pre-colonial epic fantasy story so but i wanted it to be based on uh have actual roots in something that was real so when i was doing my research i came across Queen Amina of Zaza, which existed, I believe, in the 16th century. And this was an actual warrior queen. She was an actual warrior queen that existed in Zaza, which is present day Zaria in Nigeria, in the northern part of um, you know, Nigeria. So it was really exciting picking things from now. Malaka is her own person, but I did pick one or two things, you know, from um, you know, Amina and Zaza. One thing that a lot of people don't know is that Amina was very popular for metal works, like the, the Zaza community. Like they actually were very, very popular for building like iron uh, helmets and chain mail mm -hmm. in Africa back then in the 16th century. And there's a part in the Malaika comic book, I think it's when, um, that I think I know because I wrote the story, <laughs> when the Windmaker, um, you know, first meets Malaika and, and he gives her a compliment and it's like, you guys, out of everybody on the entire continent, nobody knows their way around iron, you know, like you guys. And that was a direct um, homage paid to, to, you know, to Amina. So yeah, you you will find little, a little bit, a bit uh, bits and pieces, excuse me, of things like that throughout Malaika that sort of like a throwback to, to Amina and, and, and Zaza. The thing about Amina that struck me, and you know, somebody who grew up in Kaduna, I was actually, mm -hmm. I, I grew up in Kaduna, Zaria was like, <clears throat> you know, 30 minutes to an hour away, yeah. depending on what Literally. time of day you were going and also yeah. the road calling. <laughs> but, uh, I'm talking before they make the road dualize so you could try Yeah. <laughs> anyway, but back then, <clears throat> yeah. you knew about this story. She was, yeah. she was This was a male dominant and still is a yeah. very male dominated culture. Exactly. Exactly. And to hear, it almost sounded like, you know, fairy tale. Like, oh, wait, yeah. a woman who was in charge? Yeah. Where? In Literally in charge. Yeah. You can't even get a woman to be governor now, but yeah. this lady and her story is so remarkable. Very. When you get into it, the fact that her family, she was born into a wealthy family. Mm -hmm. Her family was was quite powerful. Her father, yeah. you know, died and then passed the, you know, the crown to her brother. Yeah. Um, they bypassed her. It was given to mm -hmm. her younger brother, mm -hmm. which was the norm at the time. You give it to your heir, who's the man. Yeah. yeah. And he, I think, you know, her father apparently was a peaceful dude, but you know, um, when she was growing up, she yeah. took an interest 
in the military life. And she became yeah. somebody who really spent time honing her military skills mm -hmm. and became a leader of the cavalry. Can you exactly. imagine? Leader. A leader of the Literally, yeah. cavalry. Yeah. Right? It's, and she was yeah. known as a badass fighter on the horseback. <laughs> exactly. It's crazy. Like, no, I, I, I actually encourage people to go out there and research um, Queen Amina. It's just mind blowing. Some of the achievements, like you said, mm -hmm. in a male dominated, um, still male dominated place in the world. And you see, again, you, you see semblances of that in, in Malaika, like the Council of Five of Azaz, they're all male, mm -hmm. right? And, and they're ruled by Malaika, who is a queen. And there's friction initially, um, you know, from that. Uh, it's actually what sort of kicks up the stories. People are undermining Malaika's rule. And she's like, dude, like, do don't let me bring out the other side of, of myself. <laughs> it's you, know, it's like, yeah. nice. <laughs> you know, exactly. And, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a really, really, um, for me, just very fascinating thing to research and, and then find very exciting ways to, to incorporate that into, um, you know, Malaika's story. Another thing that Zaza was popular for is the walls. Like they, they actually call the Amina's walls. She's that credited they with that. Yeah, she is. Yeah, exactly. Um, and you will see stuff like that too in, in, in Malaika um, and the city of Azaz and, and, and how they, uh, they, they build walls to, to protect, uh, you, know, you know, not just, you know, the kingdom, but different parts of, of um, not just the main capital, but different parts of the kingdom as well. So yeah, like I said, yeah. it's, um, it's really fascinating and I, and I go into a little bit um uh, uh deeper detail in the uh, chapter breakdowns of, of malaika volume one so you would see Very nice things like this and say hey yeah. this is where I, I i got this from because i always want people to know that this is coming from a real place this is coming i don't from, mind yeah. saying this that in some ways if not for the fantasy element yeah in the malaika story yeah that is the unofficial biography. <laughs> <laughs> because even the first time you see her, yeah. she's demonstrating, she's on horseback, she's, she's on horseback. In the army. Yeah, she, exactly. You know, and that's just the lady she was. And three things I remember about Queen Zelda that you take a takeaways. She's mm -hmm. famous for having expanded the borders of her, her, exactly. her kingdom more exactly. than anybody before her. Yes. Two, yeah. the walls, which you just mentioned. Yeah. And also the metal works. The fact that yeah. she introduced metal armor yeah. and some of these things. So her people yeah. were pretty much unbeatable. And when her brother yeah. died and she took over, yeah. she was queen for like 30 something years. Yeah. Yeah, but no, it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, it's an amazing, amazing story about an amazing person. And um, I was very proud and honored to be able to to use that to obviously create my own fictional character in Malaika. So, yeah, I encourage you. You left to... some stuff out, though. I mean, like, I for have example, to. she refused to marry. <laughs> yeah, she did. She did and she took a temporary husband from each place. Each she place. Yeah. I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah. <she's> <laughs> she actually did. That is actually <laughs> true. Like, I, I, like again, I encourage you, everybody, please go out there and research uh, Queen Amina Zaza. Fantastic story. Um, you know, just a very, very great person. And uh, yeah, check out Malaika as well. Obviously, um, Volume One is out. Volume One and Two actually are out, are out now. Everywhere books are sold um, online in stores. Um, so, um, yeah, please check that out. And like I said, if, if you are a history buff or yeah, just somebody that enjoys like this medieval epic fantasy storytelling, um, Lord of the Rings type of thing, um, you definitely, definitely be into uh, Malaika. But yeah, that that's it for today. Um, um, I really enjoy these segments, but I, I, there's there's a lot more that um, you're going to get to see. Yeah, just how African history, culture and mythology inspires all all our works. But uh, yeah, this this one has been fun. I have some ideas for the Malaika storyline. I'm gonna hit Roy with those up after. I'm gonna put that out in public so he can send that to my lawyer. Send it to my lawyer first. He catch me. He catch me. <laughs> but anyway, I've been Jake Baje. You can catch me at Nuru the Nerd Guru. But I'm also part of the Niger Nerds team. We are fans of pretty much everything that comes out of Unique Studios, and I love the Malaika books. Love everything they do. Can't wait to see what else comes out of that house. Uh, Roy, tell them where they can find their Malaika books specifically, where they can go buy them. Yeah, so like I said, Malaika is available, you know, in stores and online. So pretty much anywhere you can buy a book, you can get Malaika Volume 1 and Volume 2. Uh, the easiest way is to just go on our website, uniquestudios.com, Y-O-U-N-W-E-K, and the word studios.com, and uh, you'll be able to, to get the links to you know, to get the books. But follow us on all platforms, social media, at Unique Studios, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, you know, whatever may come in the future. And uh, yeah, um, we would like to connect with you guys. Send us a DM, um, please, Slide not spam. DMs, y'all. Not spam, please, but uh, actual 
cool DMs that ask good questions, if I may put that out there. But uh, yeah, I digress. Uh, yeah, excited to um, yeah for you guys to check out Malaika, and uh, I guess we'll see you guys when we see you. Yeah, yeah. Peace out.